And how beautiful is that? Yeah, Alhamdulillah, that time Allah has already guided my heart to Islam. Now I'm sure many of you have seen well, this mosque yes. before. It is praying area. Rasa aman dan nyaman. It really is such a stunning building, and actually Saat the first time inside there. So peaceful in here, and you can hear little birds. Di saat itulah hidayah akan datang. <laughs> Masya Allah. But they didn't, and you need to understand that the Malays are proud of that because those are beliefs. That come from Islam. That's oh, a value yeah. system that oh, comes yeah. from Islam. Yeah. This is something that the Malays are proud of, that the Muslims are proud of. Halo teman-teman semua, Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Apa kabarnya nih teman-teman semua? Semoga sehat selalu ya. Dan kembali lagi bersama ku Rizky tentunya. Kali ini kita masih mau ngelanjutin requestan dari teman-teman semua. Thank you untuk teman-teman yang sudah kirimin link requestnya ke DM Instagram aku di esrizki ya. Masya Allah, tabarakallah inilah pendapat orang asing pada saat datang ke Malaysia dengan toleransi rakyat Malaysia dan terkhususnya negara Malaysia adalah salah satu negara Islam terbaik di dunia loh. Langsung saja kita nonton ya videonya. Masya Allah. You guys, I'm in Malaysia okay. and I'm so excited because this country is stunning. Masya Allah. Masya Allah. My husband's son and I are here because it's my husband's birthday trip, but we're also here house hunting because we do want to relocate to Malaysia, inshallah, and get the hell out of UK. We're here for three weeks. We've begun in Kuala Lumpur. We're going to go to Langkawi, Penang, Pahentian Island, Singapore, and then back to Kuala Lumpur. I was raised a Buddhist back in Penang. About Muslims, I never actually thought much about religion back then. There was no um, debate or issue. When it comes to religion, other than certain things where it comes when it comes to Ramadan, mm -hmm. why Muslims have to fast, why Muslims ha have to pray. And me as a Buddhist, my family, they pray twice a day, which is in the morning and night. Mm -hmm. When I look at the Muslims, it's like, wow, five times a day. Okay, they must be very, you know, they are very diligent and committed to it. You know, I, I find my parents are very, very committed, but this five times a day, wow. You know, mm -hmm. alhamdulillah. alhamdulillah. There was no concept of jamaah or congregation. Let's say if I'm the parent, I'm the head of the family, I alone cover my whole family. They didn't raise up to like uh, in a Muslim environment where when one prays, you invite all the rest of the family members to pray in a congregation. You know, how beautiful is that? Yeah. Alhamdulillah, that time Allah has already guided my heart to Islam. Now I'm sure many of you have seen Lord this mosque Yaska. before, but you may not have seen the inside of it. So today we are going to change that. But first I have to go and get dressed because I'm currently wearing shorts Hello. and I need to cover my legs. So here I am now mm -hmm. properly covered up so I can go inside the mosque. Amy yep. on the other hand came properly dressed. Menghormati. So this is the India mosque which was opened in 2019. And here we go inside. Masha so this can apparently accommodate 1,600 people at any one time. And obviously this is currently between prayer times, which is why there's nobody really in there. So this is the main prayer area. And then we go up the stairs here and then this brings us out into the ladies praying area. Rasa aman dan nyaman. It really is such a stunning building. And actually Saat the first time inside masjid. here. Di saat itulah hidayah akan datang. Masya Allah. So there you go. My first time coming into this mosque, and it might be the first time any of you have seen inside of it as well. Hari terakhir di Malaysia main-main ke Putrajaya. Jadi mm -hmm. ini last minute karena sehari sebelumnya aku riset dan ternyata aku sama suami aku belum pernah loh guys ke Putra Mosque. Cantik oh. banget ya warna pink mosknya. Sebelum masuk kami diberi jubah merah untuk dipakai pas ke dalam. Dan yeah. Banyak banget guys ternyata turis-turis dari luar yang datang juga buat lihat-lihat. Yeah. Tempatnya cantik banget guys. Iya yeah, masya Allah kan. Guys lihat deh detail atasnya cantik banget. <gasps> wow. Oh my god, it's beautiful. Yeah. Semua detail-detailnya cakep banget. Masya guys. Allah. Practically beautiful. Dan aku ingat pas masuk awalnya cuma bisa bengong karena secantik itu. Look, nobody ever bled for the independence of this land except the Malays. So you can't blame them for suspecting that they might be the only people who ever would bleed for the independence of this land if it was ever threatened. Because they're the only ones who ever did bleed. Now, they bled for the independence of this land 
they achieved the independence of this land, they freed themselves from the British Empire, and then they adopted the people whom the British Empire left behind. They integrated them into the citizenry of the new independent Malaysia. Mm. They didn't have to do that. Now, I think it's very important to understand this and to recognize this history so that you can appreciate the astounding magnanimity and humanity of spirit that the Malays exhibited towards the people who had formerly worked for the British Empire against the independence of the Malays, against the independence of this land. They integrated those people into the citizenry, they gave them full citizenship, and they made Malaysia, and now they're all brothers and sisters. They're all fellow citizens in the same one Malaysia. It's extremely important to recognize this and to appreciate this because it seems to me that it's very popular to allege that the only obstacle to Malaysia being a successful multiracial, multiethnic, multi-religious society, the only obstacle to that is the Malays. The opposite is true. You can't level that charge against the Malays. There is a multiracial society in Malaysia because of the Malays. There is a multi-ethnic society in Malaysia because of the Malays. There is a multi-religious, multi-faith society in Malaysia because of the Malays. Their magnanimity, their tolerance is not open to question. You have to recognize that history to appreciate and understand that no one is more serious about having a multiracial, multi-ethnic, and multi-religious society. No one is more serious about that than the Malays because it didn't have to be that way. They didn't have to do that. They could have treated the people that were left behind by the British Empire as persona non grata, but they didn't. And you need to understand that the Malays are proud of that because those are beliefs that come from Islam. That's a value system that comes from Islam. This is something that the Malays are proud of, that the Muslims are proud of. We can, in Islam, have multiple belief systems operating peacefully amongst each other, multiracial groups, you understand? So it doesn't make any sense for anyone to oppose Islam being the official religion of the state of Malaysia in the constitution, because it's on that basis, it's because of that value system that you have a multiracial, multi-ethnic and multi-religious society. Have you realized that three or five most beautiful masjids in the world are actually located in Malaysia? Masjid Salat Meleka, Terleta, Gdi Salah Satu Salat Yang Terpanjang di Dunia, dan ada tingkap kaca warna-warni dengan korak islamik. Masjid Kota Kinabalu diinspirasikan dari Masjid Nabawi di Madinah dan orang ramai boleh pergi dengan menaiki sampan. Ya Allah. Masjid Tunjung Bunga mula-mula dibina di atas air sebab tak ada tanah yang cukup. Allahu Akbar, teman-teman semua luar biasa ya info yang bisa kita sampaikan hari ini. Masya Allah luar biasa, Allahu Akbar senang bisa melihat info-info terbaru seperti ini teman-teman semua tentang cerita orang-orang asing yang pernah datang ke Malaysia. Lalu ada kisah-kisah mualaf yang menjadi pembelajaran kita semua. Bagaimana kita harus bersyukur, bersyukur kepada Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala. Kita sejak lahir sudah menjadi umat Islam. Dan itu tadi teman-teman ya, selalu memupuk keimanan dan ketakwaan kita tentunya kepada Allah Subhanahu wa taala gitu. Masya Allah. Bersyukur sekali dengan adanya saudara-saudara baru yang memeluk agama Islam gitu. Betapa indahnya teman-teman mendapatkan hidayah dari Allah Subhanahu wa taala. Luar biasa. Dan tentu saja kelebihan dari toleransi rakyat Malaysia. Allahu Akbar. Oke teman-teman semua demikian ya video kita kali ini. Semoga bermanfaat untuk teman-teman semua. Terima kasih untuk teman-teman yang sudah menonton video aku kali ini. Dan aku akhiri dulu video aku kali ini. Wassalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Sampai jumpa lagi di video aku selanjutnya. Bye-bye. See you next time. Bye.